In this video, we'll see how to compare and merge two different PowerPoint files. The topics included are, we'll compare two PowerPoint files, we'll review them, what are the changes made, uh, and we'll accept and reject changes, and finally, we'll end review. Now, what I'm trying to say is, I have one PowerPoint file, and I've given this PowerPoint file to my team. Let's say four members have given them, and all the four members have done some changes, right? So what I'll do is I'll try to get all the files from them one by one and I'll compare my original file with each of them, right? And whatever changes they have made in the PowerPoint presentation, it is my authority or my authentication whether I want to accept the changes or reject the changes. So that is how we can do it, right? So for that demo purpose, what I've done is I have just created a PowerPoint, you know, slide over here. This is a slide here. And I've written some text uh, uh, text here which says MS Office and I've named the tools of the MS Office like PowerPoint, Visual, Excel, Word and Outlook, right? And I've given the name of the file as file one and the author is my name is given here as the author. Now what I'll do is I have created one more file, right? Which there are some changes done on this file itself. So I'll just open that file to show you what are the changes done. So I'll just open here in the folder it is kept and I'll double click and open it. So that is the file, yeah, that is the file which I've done changes. In this file, in this particular slide, if you observe here, there were five tools in the previous file. This is the file two, right? In the previous file, file one, there were five tools. Here are only four tools. Coloring is done, images have been inserted and so on. Let, there are more changes also. So first thing is what I'll do is, I'll bring this both PowerPoint files side by side. So I'll just go to uh, view tab, arrange all. So now it is arrange all and if you clearly, clearly observe, there are five tools here and there are some four tools available. There are two images and there is no image here. This is file one and this is file two. Now I'll ask them to compare both the files. How do I ask them to compare? Let us see that. So I'll go back to my original file. This is my original file and I'll close this one. Close, maximize. How do I compare? Very first thing, go to view tab. Uh, sorry, go to review tab and you can click on this compare. Click on this compare, you get this dialog box. You want to compare your PowerPoint file with which file? So I'll say I want to compare with file 2 and I'll click on merge. You see what it's saying as choose file to merge with current presentation and I'll click on this merge. Once I click on this merge, I'll directly jump to this slide and let us see what is happening is you see there's a small dot which are coming here, the icons. It says now these are the areas, what are the changes made? So also if you see this compare, there's a reviewing pane and that is the reviewing pane given here. So if you see there are three dots given, I mean the three icons, one, two and three and same. The third icon says picture seven, picture six and there's something which is given. Let us try to see what it is. So I'll just click on that and you see there's a line which says, it says this is the action done Okay, someone has inserted picture and who is the person? That's the name of the person, right? So if I click on that, if I click on that, that means I'm accepting the changes, right? I'm accepting the changes. If I do not click on that, that is I'm not accepting the changes. Similarly, I'll just accept the change given here. I'll click on the same place. I'm in the second similar button. It says the person has inserted a picture. Do you want to insert? This person has inserted this picture. If you want, you can take it like this. Uh, and if you do not want, you just select it, deselect it. So if you observe what is happening here, the icon, if you see the picture three, which is given here, it has been accepted. So otherwise the other option is you can select from here. That is the accept change, right? Accept change for one option. Let's say if I click on this and if I say accept change, that change will be accepted or these are one and the same. I'm giving the shortcut method. If you do not want, you can just select as not accepted. The third one, let us see the last one. It says there are many, many changes done. What are the changes done? It says someone has inserted tutorials here. So if I accept the change, observe what will happen here. Observe here. If I accept the change, it says the tutorial word is accepted. Similarly, there's, if I've done some formatting, let's say I've done the coloring part and you see that is the coloring part done where it is here. Yeah. You see that the text has been colored into some red color. So whatever changes you want to accept or reject, you can choose from here. Otherwise, the long cut one is you can select from here, right? Or you can select from here, reject. Do you want to reject one change on one slide or all the presentation? You can choose whatever you want, right? Once you have done uh, reviewing the entire presentation by clicking on next, next, next or previous, either of them. Once you have done that, you can just click on this end review. 
Once you say as end review, it will ask, do you want to accept whatever we have done? So this is the dialog box. It says, are you happy with what you have done? Do you want to accept it? I'll say as yes. This will end review and any unapplied changes will be discarded. So I'll say as yes. So all the changes which I've compared with the other person that has been accepted, right? So I hope you're able to understand how to compare two PowerPoint files. So these are the topics we have seen, how to compare two PowerPoint files, review the changes, accept those changes or reject those changes. And finally, how do we end the review? So I hope you have understood how to compare it. That's all.